name is Dalen Hargrave. It's my rare privilege to demonstrate the OMF machine by Polymetric. And I've just received in the mail a digital scintillator number 88. And we're going to hook this up to the OMF machine and show you a little bit about concave fastening. Hello, my name is Dalen Hargrave. Uh, Zane Hoffman has asked me to demonstrate some operational procedures and setup for his OMF uh, concave fastening machine. And the first thing we're going to do is attach a scintillator mast and base plate. The base plate comes with two set screws and an Allen wrench. And we're going to locate the pre drilled tapped holes in the base plate to the OMF machine. Screw these down. Just snug these up a little bit. Then we're going to take the mast to the scintillator and slide it on. Temporarily lock that down where it doesn't move. Then we're going to remove this splash guard. The OMF machine has a lock nut underneath that you can loosen so that this whole assembly slides back and forth. And we're going to show how to align both of these two machines. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to use the adjustment here to get our dop arm and quill right at 90 degrees. What I'm doing now is using the fine adjustment to zero in 90 degrees. We have a digital readout on this side, so we're at perfectly 90 degrees. Then we're going to loosen the nut underneath this assembly. There's a slide plate. We're going to, by eyesight, just approximate where we need to be. I'm going to go ahead and lock down this OMF assembly base plate. Now that that's locked down on this side over here, there's a nut that you can loosen that allows you to pivot the OMF machine. What we're going to do is loosen the dop that I have placed in here. You push down on this lever here and it locks the collet in place. You can then take a wrench and tighten that just a little bit. I'm going to lock a dop down in this one as well. Slide the machine forward slightly, lock it down, and then with the OMF machine still movable, I'm going to take the transfer jig, hold it up against both of these, and pull these where they're parallel to the side of the dops. Now with both of these dops aligned, this should be a good position to begin fastening. You screw this down to tighten the, the base. Now we're perfectly aligned from the OMF machine to the scintillator. You repeat that procedure if you raise the mast and start cutting at 45 degrees. If you need to realign 
you can just simply put those two dops in place, hold the transfer jig up against it, and align them, and you're set to go. Then replace your stone and begin cutting. The next stage that we're going to take a look at is the collet system. The OMF machine comes with a standard quarter of an inch collet. These are interchangeable and also available is a 3 eighths of an inch collet. So these are easy to interchange. I've also got a quarter of an inch mandrels for doing the cutting and available is 3 eighths of an inch mandrels for doing the cutting. Available in Corian as well, which is a very fine polishing lap. I'm going to start off with a quarter of an inch collet. I'm going to reach up here and Press down to lock the arbor in place. We're going to screw the lock nut down and tighten it slightly. We want to make sure that this releases. Now we're ready to set up the stop arms that hold the quill in place. Since the OMF machine is concave unit, you don't sweep like you normally would in a flat lap. You have to be in a fixed position. So there's a special dop arm stop that we're going to attach that you brace this up against. That way you're always coming up to the exact same position. After tightening down the mandrel to actually do the cutting, you want to rig up the dop arm stop the first thing you want to locate is this dop arm, a little short half inch. It's got a machined off flat spot here. You just slide this up in, tighten this down temporarily. You want to slide this in to the opening. This actually has a lot of versatility. You can position it in a lot of different places depending on what side you prefer to operate from. Today we're going to slide it in here. There's a set screw here that we're going to lock down. Just find the flat spot of that shaft. Lock that in place. Then we're going to take the micrometer adjustment. And you have two 3 8 of an inch rods. You're going to look for the rod that has a little dimple in it. Stick that into the micrometer adjustment and tighten down this set screw. Tighten this down securely in place. Then take the other 3 8 of an inch rod Find the machined flat spot, stick it in the side of this saddle block. There's a set screw here. You want to tighten that in place. With that in place, you can loosen this. This is fully adjustable to wherever you want it. We're going to just temporarily put it in place here. Then we're going to take this uh, little jig here that holds two shafts. We're going to slide this in place, temporarily tighten it down, slide the micrometer with its arm in place, and temporarily tighten this down. Now what this is going to give us the ability to do is adjust the end of this shaft, the end of this shaft to catch the dop stick or if you prefer you can position it to catch the quill. Let's just back up the machine slightly. 
and as you can see we're catching the micrometer. This tightens down the micrometer. You can loosen this, back this up, until your gemstone is perfectly centered over the top of the mandrel, the cutting mandrel. You can tighten this down, then you inspect your stone every time you come back down you'll bring it up against this before going down to actually do the cutting. You'll have to adjust this relatively close to the stone or to the mandrel where you're going to be doing the cutting because each time you're going to need to come down right to that spot and then bring the stone down against the cutting mandrel.